I need to do a special broadcast, which means I don't have fancy cameras or lights. I'm not in studio. I'm, I'm well, in the studio that has the TV equipment. I'm a laptop camera. But we got to have this conversation, conservatives. And I need to push this out to everyone. And so, Philip, you can use what I said to push out today, tomorrow, and this. I'm recording it. And you can push this out because it needs to be done. This is important. We must talk about chickens. But to talk about chickens, we have to talk about Newsmax. And to talk about Newsmax, we have to talk about uh, Gordon, James Gordon Meek. This is important. In October of 2022, the FBI showed up and raided the home of ABC News producer James Gordon Meek. James Gordon Meek had published reports at ABC and oversaw news that was uh, critical of Joe Biden. And there were some who maintained he had conservative sensibilities. And in the middle of October 2022, Uh, Numerous conservative um, social media stars, people with big Twitter platforms, began to tweet suggestions that something nefarious was happening. Uh, Pedro Gonzalez tweeted this, an investigative journalist has vanished after the FBI and people in unmarked federal vehicles raided his home. The United States is no less repressive than Russia or China. It just pretends to be a democracy, which makes it far worse. Pedro Gonzalez is one of those people allied with the white nationalists and pro-Russian sensibilities, things like that. Uh, Julie Kelly tweeted this, armed FBI agents in military-style vehicles conduct pre-dawn raid of journalists would have required approval of Deputy AG Lisa Monaco, Obama loyalist running DOJ. Then DOJ leaked details of investigation to reporters. The Rolling Stone article title FBI raid star ABC News producer's home, subtitle Emmy-winning producer James Gordon Meek had his home raided by the FBI. His colleagues say they haven't seen him since. Well, guess what? The indictment has now been released. He is highly credibly accused of sending explicit messages to underage children and spreading child pornography. But people on the right, because they felt like he had some sensitivities to the right and had published stories critical of the Biden administration, they seized on that to suggest the Biden administration was no different than Russia and China. This guy had spread uh, negative stories about him, and so they raided his home, just like they did to Trump. Child pornography, all the, the accusations pretty credible there. And of course, there will be people today who suggest actually it's all a setup because he questioned Biden. You you know the types. They'll question immediately. That gets me to Newsmax. I, 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 Philip put up a clip from the show yesterday, put it on my Instagram feed, and I'm being overrun with people very angry with me over Newsmax because uh, Ted Cruz, Lauren Boebert, and other members of Congress tell us, and Newsmax tells us, that DirecTV has taken Newsmax off DirecTV uh, as censorship of conservatives. That, that That's why they've taken DirecTV or Newsmax off. I've gotten emails from people upset with me thinking, I have a responsibility. I have a microphone. I therefore have a responsibility, and I do. You see, unlike a lot of people, I actually take seriously that I will be called one day to account to my maker for the things I do and say. I may get into heaven, but there's still a level of accountability. And it pains me to know that there are a lot of people out there who that doesn't weigh on them like I think it probably should. Newsmax is not being taken off DirecTV because DirecTV is censoring 
uh, conservatives. New uh, DirecTV is owned by AT&T, although they're spinning it off. Uh, AT&T is one of the few organizations out there that refuse to stop giving money to Republicans after January 6th. AT&T is one of the more conservative uh, companies out there, and it's spinning off DirecTV because people are cord cutting. DirecTV is falling on hard times. And DirecTV can't give you internet uh, like AT&T's uh, phone lines can, and AT&T wants to divest itself of DirecTV. I am a DirecTV subscriber. DirecTV is getting rid of Newsmax because Newsmax was giving DirecTV free content. And if you're a cable provider, you want free content. And now Newsmax has decided to stop doing its free content. It thinks it's risen enough that it can now start charging people for the content. And it told DirecTV, you're going to have to pay a subscriber fee. You, you, you pay for the right to transmit Fox News. You now must pay for the right to transmit us. And DirecTV said, actually, we're going to go with the first. The first isn't going to charge us. And so we'll swap one conservative channel for another. And Newsmax marketing ploy is its censorship of conservatives, and it's not. And full disclosure, they approached me about an advertising campaign on this program to promote where you can see Newsmax. I was happy to take their money, but was not happy to have them on my program to talk about how this was censorship of conservatives. And so I will not be taking their money after all. They wanted it done a certain way, and I don't believe it's true. So I am giving up money uh, that I would otherwise be getting if I wanted to play along with the censorship game. And it's simply not true. Uh, it is not true when you actually read the wording of Newsmax, uh, which they're loudly saying it's censorship. Uh, but if you pay careful attention to what they're actually saying, it's that uh, they're getting rid of their free uh, streaming platform. You're now going to have to pay. Uh, everybody's going to have to pay. The Direct TV said, we're not going to pay the subscriber fee. They have this free platform, and you can go watch it there. You don't have to watch it here. And Newsmax says, no, 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 we're getting rid of that. Everybody's going to have to pay now. They just wanted Direct TV to pay, not you to pay. Direct TV's not going to raise its rates for everyone uh, by 50 cents just to cover the cost of their Newsmax channel. Uh, when you could go to this other platform if you just want Newsmax. And DirecTV says the numbers don't warrant it. They don't have a massive base of people watching Newsmax on DirecTV. Therefore, it's not worth it to them. They've got a lot of people watching Fox. They'll give out this other. And, and the response is, but you give all this liberal content. You give MSNBC. People who don't understand the business can say dumb things like that that sound smart, except MSNBC comes in a package from Comcast that has other channels as well, like CNBC, that people actually want to watch. And so MSNBC gets layered in, and MSNBC has more viewers than Newsmax anyway. Uh, you get CNN as part of a package uh, with other channels from Warner Brothers Discovery. You get Fox News. Uh, Fox News is the most watched cable channel, so of course... DirecTV is going to pay for it because people will cancel DirecTV in very large numbers if they ditch Fox News. Very few people, if any, will ditch DirecTV for telling you to go watch Newsmax online. That's the truth. That is the actual truth. I was for willing to forego money in an ad campaign because I did not want to tell you something that was not true. I did not want to suggest to you something that was not true. And we talk all the time about the left and, and attacks on truth and how there should be objectivity. And all the conservatives are outraged by this guy in the Washington Post who said that objectivity is this white male thing. Well, it turns out a lot of people on my side don't want objectivity either. They don't want the truth. They want their spit on things too, which leads me to the chickens and the eggs. I got a text message yesterday from a listener. Um, and I actually got the message after an encounter with my daughter. And the message was, what's actually going on with chickens out there? Tucker Carlson had something on it. Uh, th th there's a lot of buzz on the internet that chickens have stopped laying eggs. Uh, before I even saw that, I got home and my daughter uh, said, at school today, have you heard about the chickens that she has a teacher who has backyard chickens? The chicken stopped laying eggs. It appears to be a thing. There's this conspiracy out there that corporations, because they've killed so many chickens, just follow along the logic here, so many corporations 
killed chickens because of the bird flu. They don't like it that some people have backyard chickens where they can get eggs for free. So they put something in the feed so the chickens will stop laying eggs. So even those people have to go buy the exorbitantly priced eggs. That's one of many strains. There's another one that uh, actually the government is uh, encouraging companies to do this, to starve people and create a, a humanitarian food crisis. All these sorts of things where if you just think about them a little bit, it, it sounds a little kooky, but there is a thing happening out there. Uh, anecdotally, there's no data on it. There are several people with YouTube channels that uh, pioneering types, you know, the types they, they have uh, plots in the back of their house where they have chickens and maybe goats or maybe a cow even, or they have a garden and, and they're survivalists now uh, in this era where everybody got to take care of themselves. They've got their backyard garden. They've got their chickens and a lot of chickens apparently have stopped laid eggs, but it's very random. I have a, a friend, my buddy Raz, only ginger worth trusting out there allegedly. Uh, my buddy Raz is one of those homesteader types. I mean, dude lives on this farm in Texas and kills the pigs in his backyard, and, and he's got chickens, and he came home to his chickens uh, going gangbusters laying eggs. So it's anecdote. It's not data, but there appears to be something. But now people on the right are weaving this into conspiracy theories. There is apparently this cure, though, that is now available. Go buy goat feed and, and throw in so, some some um, sunflower seeds in your chickens. They go gangbusters laying eggs again. But how are we supposed to know what's true now? See, this is the thing. Uh, Tucker Carlson blew this up, and I'm a little skeptical because, like, one of the things that he tied into – this conspiracy in his monologue the other night was this General Mills factory set on fire in Georgia, but that's not really true. It was sadly a, a father and daughter took off from an airport in Covington, Georgia, and just after they took off had a uh, malfunction and the plane crashed in the parking lot. Didn't actually impact the building. Operations were not suspended except for a very short time. Uh, and when that's woven in, and it sounds like there are these attacks on these uh, industries. There was a chicken processing facility or or egg laying facility that burned down. They don't know why yet, but it's being woven into this uh, ongoing conspiracy that there's an attack on food production in the country when actually if you know how many of these places catch fire every year and when you actually look at the data, um, people are manufacturing things. It's like, have you seen the video of the people who they are all just dropping dead spontaneously? The soccer player, there was a comedian and others. And when you actually look at the stories of who it is, some of these videos are from years ago before COVID, but they're all being strung together as if they're current and uh, that it's probably myocarditis from the Pfizer vaccine. And it's simply not true. And this is where we're headed in, in very dangerous times now as a society where there are kernels of truth around which whole stories are being woven. There appears to be a problem in this country right now with chickens, where in some parts of the country, unrelated to avian flu, chickens are no longer laying eggs. It appears to be anecdotal, though, because other people aren't having the problem with the same feed and people don't know. But you can't trust anybody anymore. And other people for clout, for ratings, for, for building their platform are weaving these things into elaborate stories and picking and choosing things that don't go together and forcing them into a storyline where they don't meet. And it's so hard these days to figure out what actually is true. And when it becomes really hard to understand what is true, when it becomes hard to figure out the truth, it becomes easier to manipulate people because you put your trust in people and those people can manipulate you. And, and I don't want to be accused of that. And I get blamed and blasted from my own side for not being willing to go down the road of some of these stories that then don't pan out. And now we've got this alarmism on the right about chickens in chicken coops and are, is there a mass conspiracy? And I don't think there is. I think there's some problem and nobody trusts the experts to tell them the truth anymore. And I would just tell everyone now, it seems very clear as a society, we have a gap of truth. We have a distrust of those people who should be willing to tell us the truth. And we have people who want to manipulate the truth for clout. And the moral of the story here is we got problems. They're not necessarily conspiratorial. Many of them are anecdotal. 
I'll try to get to the bottom of as many as I can. But when someone tells you something that checks everything in your box of paranoia and scratches every inch you have, maybe be a little more skeptical of even the people you put trust in to tell you the truth. Be skeptical of me too. Find it out for yourself. I just want to give you the information so you can make your own decision instead of leading you down a rabbit hole where too many people are going. And that's to the detriment of all of our society.